Hi, Taurus. Okay, so we have strength, major arcana. We see the woman here gently handling the lion. And the lion looks almost gleeful looking up at her with love. And so there's a message here of using gentleness and kindness and compassion as your vehicle for strength. Instead of strong arming, instead of forcing someone, you know, allow the softer side to shine through and to cope with uh, challenges that you may face. So with strength, strength is a, an encouragement to you that you have a heart that's really big and a heart that is strong and that inner strength is going to help you to deal with adversity, through setbacks, through challenges, through unkindness, through misery, whatever it may be, that you do have the strength to handle whatever's necessary. It's a powerful card, and there are times when we don't feel that we have that strength, or we feel that there's no way I could handle that, but the human spirit is tough and has such resolve, and so we do have strength, and so it's a wonderful awareness for the week is to remember that you are strong enough to handle anything that comes your way and to uh, use kindness and gentleness as a first line in how you respond. So Taurus, here's the Queen of Pentacles, the lovely Queen of Pentacles, uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, sitting in her gorgeous garden in her nice clothes and holding her pentacles and gazing at it. So she is uh, a, a leader of common sense, pragmatic thinking, very grounded, very stable, very down to earth. Someone who is aware of how, you, of how friends or family are doing. And so maybe reaching out to say, right, is everything okay with you? You know, do you need anything for me? Can I bring you some coffee or can I bring you soup if you're not feeling well? She is able to multitask. She's able to handle work, family, and other obligations and um, is a hard worker. You know, the Pentacle Suits, it's about devotion and loyalty and hard work. And so she's a master of pulling together resources, whether you find sales at the store or uh, the flea market and turning something into beauty because the Queen of Pentacles really appreciates comfort and enjoys pleasure and enjoys the comfort of her home. So you may be this week thinking about how to beautify your home. You may be tidying up or buying things, flowers, something to give it a little boost and to put a smile on your face. So whether these are qualities that you benefit from or that you demonstrate or someone within your circle or your family, a loving, resourceful, on it type of person So now we're going to choose two cards for guidance. Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune, Major Arcana. So the Wheel of Fortune is telling us that life is always in motion. This wheel is always spinning and it is the cycles of life that we go through, the ups and the downs. Events happen to us, good events and bad events. And so you, can, you could be riding on top of this wheel and then all of a sudden spin out of control and totally change direction. And it's a matter of how you respond to these changes. It's a matter of being flexible and being open that, you know, sometimes things change course. An event comes in and turns everything upside down. And how do you handle it? And by the same token, sometimes something happens that brings really good fortune to you. A great event, an opportunity, a decision that you have to make that favors, uh, you know, growth and development. So cycles Wheel is always movement that you could feel that, that your life this week is maybe picking up pace and picking up momentum. You may be experiencing a change or having to make a decision that will, that will affect a change within your life. And so the message is really to be prepared for whatever the Wheel of Fortune is going to roll out to you. 
whether it's the, if you think of the real game, the wheel of the fortune, when they, when they spin the wheel, you know, whether you win big or you get the, whatever it may be, the question mark or the eh, eh, eh thing. And maybe I'm thinking of the price is right or something. I'm not sure. But, uh, you know, you have to be ready. It's about how you handle your reaction to the wheel of fortune. And again, yes, the universe is sending us breadcrumbs and is pointing us in the direction. And there's fate and there's karma, but ultimately there's free will. And the will comes from you, the, the will comes from you of understanding that it's how you relate and to adapt to whatever changes. So I think as a result of these changes and the possibilities of, of movement of things happening, we have the four of pentacles, which is this holding course kind of card, holding on to what you have, holding on to your resources. You can see the pentacle on top of his head, the pentacle over his heart. He's got his feet on his pentacles. The pentacles aren't going anywhere and he's not letting them loose. And that's okay. There are times in our life when we need to buckle down and we need to hold on to things. We can't be imprudent or we can't be impulsive. So this may be just saying, hold on for a bit, get more information, uh, you know, exercise some self-control. And there'll be a time perhaps when you can open up and take more risks, uh, donate or do whatever you need to do. But this is a card to, to hold steady with what you have right now. So this week, you know, again, whatever changes, you want to be in a position where you are protecting yourself. So now let's see what we have for possible outcomes. Lots of pentacles. Okay, so we have the Ten of Wands. Feeling burdened, feeling overworked. There is a piece of this card which is uh, showing strength and determination to be able to push those wands up the street. Like, by golly, I'm going to get this done no matter what. But ultimately, that type of thinking can lead to exhaustion. It can lead to stress. It can lead to... Uh, you know, resentment that other people aren't helping out. This is a signal that maybe you have too much on your plate, you're doing too much, and you need to either delegate or you need to have a discussion with friends or family or coworkers about picking up their share of the load. And again, some people feel that with the Ten of Wands, it's a sense of maybe feeling debt or pressure from finances. And so here's this holding steady a holding steady card with your finances, with your time, your energy, your money. And here's the feeling burdened. And you know, maybe the wheel of fortune, maybe it's something that was an unexpected expense for you. And that's causing you to, to hold forth and to hold close. So then we have another, pent we have a knight of pentacles on his horse, watching, assessing, observing, and collecting information. A another sense of hard work all about getting the job done, of being responsible, of being focused, being driven to do uh, a great job. He's going to give you his all. and may not be the most exciting energy. This is, uh, you know, the, again, more of the pentacle uh, attributes of common sense, groundedness, cautiousness, slow moving, slow and steady wins the race. And so this is a plan here. He's got a plan to accumulate more pentacles to build the foundation to make it more secure so be, between the knight of pentacles and the queen of pentacles you're really set up here to be thinking in a good mindset to protect your resources or to handle whatever may come your way with this wheel of fortune but here is the working too hard and doing too much he also works too hard too Light, give yourself a chance to lighten it up a bit because you don't want to get worn down. You don't want to get sick. You don't want to be ticked off at people who you feel that are not 
keeping up with you in terms of the work. Oh, I'm gonna go here now. Let's get uh, an Oracle card for meditation point or focus area for the week. In any moment, I can surrender to the powerful presence of love through prayer, contemplation, and stillness. So it's a matter of allowing yourself to have time to contemplate, to reflect, to recover, to pray, and to allow love to come into your life. Love for self, love for others. It's a powerful card. And then I'm gonna choose a card for the emotional well-being or spirit for the week. Lost love, surrender, healing, and release. Interesting how her body is sectioned off with the hearts. Hmm. Surrender, healing, and release. So how I would say that this connects is that, you know, it takes strength to be able to cope with loss or feeling the hurt and to let something go and knowingly let something go that maybe wasn't going to work out or wasn't going to serve you it takes an enormous amount of strength, of inner strength. So very interesting. And finally, let's get a little more information for love. Be authentic to who you are. You are asked to be real and true pertaining to who you are and how you feel. So I think it's a great message because it's, uh, it's the honesty and the forthrightness of be who you are. And if you are uh, someone who enjoys the finer things in life or the comforts in life, you know, there's no harm in that because perhaps you work really hard and, and you focus on the things that make you happy. And be authentic to who you are. If you are hardworking, uh, cautious, and, and uh, maybe not out partying like everybody else, then, you know, that's fine. That's, it's okay. We have to accept who we are. And when people ask you how you feel and, you know, and you're overburdened, you say, I'm doing too much and I need some help. Why did I get uh, the, the mantle here of doing everything, even though I can, I need a break. So it's a sense of honesty as well. So Taurus, this is what I have for you for the week. And I hope that you found something here that resonates with you and that you find helpful. If you found something helpful here and enjoyed the reading, please subscribe, like, share, or comment. And I hope that you have a fantastic week and um, take care. And I'll see you next week for another reading. Bye-bye.